Up next is one of my personal favorites of this past year. You might recall last month we introduced you to the autonomous grain cart called OutRun. My colleague Chad Moyer with the Rural Radio Network gave us a first-hand look at what this machine is capable of. Here's that report. Today we're visiting with Colton Rathman. He is a test engineer with JCA Technologies. Uh, Colton, uh, a new piece of technology, a new tool in the toolbox for farmers, specifically helping with harvest. If you had to describe OutRun, how would you do that? OutRun is an autonomous system that allows all infield applications of the grain cart to be done with nobody in the tractor, all controlled from the combine. What is this designed to do? What should happen when you use OutRun? Uh, it, it will allow the combine driver to have complete control of that grain cart, not have to go on the radio and tell anyone where to be. He can just put that cart wherever wherever they want it. Okay. Well, show us. Can you show us how it works? Give us kind of a, a walkthrough and explain what you're doing. So as you can see here on the app, we've got the field boundary here at, at this dealership. So what we're going to do here is you can see the cart location, the combine location, and then this here is our truck zone. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so what you can do here is there are three main tasks, staging cart, ready to fill, and then send a truck. So for stage cart, we're gonna select, we're gonna select that task, and then we're going to drop a pin, and you can change the direction that you want it to end, what direction you want it facing. So we're gonna drop it here in the field. I'm gonna select staging, and then the tractors receive the task and it's going to execute that task and it's going to end up over there on that end of the field. And so just you doing that right here in front of us, it didn't take very long for you to give the command and for the tractor to respond. Correct. Once the, once the task has been sent to the tractor, there is a three second delay for it to notify the surroundings. It, the alarm will go off and the hazards will start flashing and then it will start executing the task. Okay, so now you're extending the auger arm out. Yes, so I've extended the auger. The grain tank's full. I know I need the grain cart to come for an unload. So I'll hit the ready to fill button here on the tablet. It's gonna plan a path and it's gonna come align underneath the auger here. Let's say, okay, so again, thinking practically, you're more than likely taking out 12 or however many rows uh, of grain, 16 rows or whatever it might be, and then you just go over and you touch that pad touch, and say, hey, I'm full. Yep. And then here it comes. And then it will line up underneath the auger. And then we will change on the app here to this alignment view. So now you have full control of where you're filling into the grain cart. So you can, you can move that unload point so that you can most optimally fill that grain cart better than you can with an operator where you're giving hand signals back and forth or going over the radio saying move forward, speed up, slow down, whatever it might be. And with that, the grain cart also is paired to the combine. So if we speed up, the grain cart is gonna speed up with us to keep that point. And as we slow down, it will slow down with us in order to keep that unload point so we don't have to worry about spilling grain. And if the combine were to come to a stop, say I got plugged, say I need, you know something happens, I need to come to a stop, the grain cart will also come to a stop at that time and it will basically cancel that task and wait for you to call it again. How do you, how do you, you know, if, if I want to fill the front or if I want to fill the back? So if you want to fill the front, you simply nudge the load point to the front and then the, in this case, the tractor will slow down so that you can get to the front of that cart. And if you want to fill the back of the cart, you nudge and move that point to the back of the cart. And you're doing all this on the go all of this on the go while I'm harvesting. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about what happens when the grain cart is full. So you, you've topped it off, what happens now? So now, now that the grain cart's full, so once the grain cart's full, we've got that truck zone set, so our trucks are parked down there, the truck drivers can unload it. So what we'll do is we'll hit the send a truck task, and it will go to that predefined zone where the trucks are parked. And once it navigates to that zone, it will drop into the manual mode so that the truck driver can approach, hop in the cab, and unload it into the semi. Okay. So as we're sitting here, its, it's mission is to go back to that pre-selected truck zone Correct. and wait to be unloaded. Correct. There and it goes. that truck zone can be moved uh, wherever you need it in the field as you go, but that's a predefined one-click task, uh, similar to the staging task, but it's always the same point. 
So you could argue that you, you're, you're saving the employee wages of one person in the, in the tractor cab, right? What, you, what you're really doing is you're optimizing that labor that you would have. Uh -huh. So in the case of the person you would normally have in the grain cart, you can have them doing anything else. You could have them in another truck. You can get more grain on the road. Um, that's really where the optimization is, is getting somebody out of that cab and allowing you to just continue harvesting while all of your grain is on the road. Yeah, no doubt. Colton, thanks for showing us, uh, shining a spotlight on this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, that's Colton Rathman. He is a test engineer with JCA Technologies. Again, showing us outrun a way, like he says, to optimize the people that are working on your farm and automate that grain cart activity. I'm Chad Moyer.